Hey everyone, this is Steve Losh, and I recently got a reply to one of my comments on Reddit, um, and they were asking, uh, the user that asked me is Muay Guy, I think I'm saying that right, um, but they asked me, basically, how do I debug my Django apps? Um, he says, coming from PHP, I could just write var dumps wherever I needed them, but of course I cannot do that, and, you know, saying that sometimes people use PDB, but he's not exactly sure how to do that, and so I just wanted to... Uh, to do a quick screencast about how I debug Django because I've been doing uh, full-time Django work for you know well over a year now so I learned a few tricks that, uh, that I tend to use. Um, so what I've got here is I just got uh, Daniel Lindsay's awesome guide to testing. It's basically the little default Django polls app so you know if you go through the Django tutorial you create a polls app um, so that's all this is it's just I couldn't find sample code anywhere on the Django website for some weird reason um, but it's on GitHub if you want to try it out yourself. But it, this is just a normal Django project, nothing special. And the only thing I've installed so far is Django itself. Um, so if I go over here and I say, uh, on server, I get my development server and it should be listening on port 8000. So if I open up port 8000, okay, I see that I'm on the Django thing. And it doesn't have any apps except for polls, so we need to go to polls. Okay. So now we see the polls app. So I'm gonna kill that real quick and open up them. Okay. So one second. All right. Um, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and add a little feature that just lists the number of polls, and I'm gonna make a mistake when I do it, and I'm gonna debug it and show you how I do that. So first, I'm going to go into the polls views, and I'm gonna say on the index, yeah. Why don't we show the number of polls? Let's do that. First of all, let's make a couple more polls in the admin interface. So first I need to run the server again. And I need to go back and add some polls. So I'll go to admin. And I need the password, and it's on, uh, it's on the, uh, the readme. I could have just gone to the readme. ABC123, okay. So ABC123, okay. Nope. So I'm going to create a couple more polls. Uh, it paginates, the, it shows you the last five polls you can see here. So I'm going to add five more, and that'll give us a total of six. So this first one, save and add another. Oh, sure, publish it now, that's fine. Um, I just want a whole bunch, ugh, damn it. I just want a whole bunch of polls for testing. Nope. I'm going to remember this time that I need to add the date. Um, one, two, three, four day now, and I don't know how many that is. I'm just going to add another one. I think that should be enough. That should get me six total. Uh, yeah, okay, so now I've got six polls. So now if I go back to polls, I should only see the last five. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a count. So I'm going to say count, or I'm going to say num polls equals length of the latest poll list. Now I could do this by using a count on the query, but I'm just going to do this because that's the first thing I thought of, and it doesn't really matter. It's only a list of five, so whatever. And I need to use them anyway, so uh, I'm going to say num polls. I'm going to pass that along to the template. All right, and now I'm going to open up the template. Um, uh, index, okay, and I'm going to say there are num polls, total polls. And my coworker is going to hate me, but I'm going to use just a PR tag here. Sorry, Nick. Now if I refresh, okay. It says there are five total polls. Right? Well, wait a second. We just added we just added five, and there was one to begin with. There are six total polls. We're only showing five here. Right? I should really put, um, I should really put something like this. Right? So these are the last five polls, but there are, there are actually six total polls, right? So something's wrong. We've got a bug here. So how can we figure it out? Um, well, the Reddit comment said that you can't really use Vardump. Well, actually, you kind of can. Um, if we go back to the views file, um, I can just go ahead and say print numpolls and say what's, what's going on here, right? And so now, let me open up the terminal. So now here's my terminal. Here's my run server. It's automatically reloaded. If I refresh the page, I can see that I'm the run server is going to print out to standard out right here. So I can see, yeah, there, there are five number of polls. That's, that's weird. Why are there only five? Okay, let's go back to Vim. 
instead of printing out the number of folds, let's print out the latest pull list. All right? Okay. You can see it reloaded. Gonna refresh. And now, okay, I see my five poles. And then at some point, you know, my brain will start working again and they'll say, oh, wait a second. In this view, I'm cutting it off at five here. I need to get the list of all the poles and get the length there. So if I just copy this, right, and I get the length of that, now there are six total poles, right? That makes sense. Um, so that's that's one way to do it. Um, but if you're doing, if you're running Django, if you're running the server through something other than run server, um, you're not going to have this nice standard output display here, right? You're going to, it's going to be hidden behind an Nginx instance or something. Um, or maybe you just want to view it in the browser. Um, and so what you can do to kind of cheat here, uh, instead of printing, you can say assert false. And that'll just throw an assertion exception, I think that's what it's called. Maybe not. Um, but basically, when you refresh, it'll throw an error, an assertion error, that's what it's called. And it'll show you, so right, so we said assert false, right? And if you say assert, it'll check to make sure that the thing that you assert is truthy. And obviously, false is not truthy. Um, so we assert false, so we throw the error, and we give it this as kind of the data that we want to pass uh, to the error. And so Django displays that, right, on its output. So we can view it right in the browser. We don't need to have this terminal window open if, if it's hidden or if we just don't want to read the terminal. We can just view it right in the browser, right? And that'll also show us a bunch of other crap that we probably don't care about, but you never know, right? Um, and so that's the way I do a lot of my debugging is honestly just assert and make sure that things are sane, right? Um, another way, an even better way, the way I actually do things, is I use the Verxug debugger. Um, so if you've never seen Verxug, I don't want to try to pronounce it, because I'll probably pronounce it incorrectly because I'm not a German speaker. Sorry, Armin. Um, Worksig is just a WSGI utility library. You don't need to worry about that. Um, there's this cool thing called Django Extensions. And if you just install that with pip or easy install, I think it's Django underscore extensions. Uh, yeah, I probably should install it. Huh? So if you just install that, uh, it looks like maybe it'll work. Maybe? Yes. Okay, good. So you just install this app. I forget who made this. You can Google for it and you'll find it. It's just a whole bunch of useful uh, utilities for working with Django. Um, so basically all you need to do is install that and then in your settings.py file, um, in your installed apps, you're just gonna add, I, th I think it's Django underscore extensions here. Oh, extensions. Yes, I, I spelled it wrong. There we go. Django extensions. Okay. Right? And let's just make sure that I oops, shoot, make sure that we still run. No, I forgot a comma. My bad. Okay, let's make sure we still run. Okay, so it found the app. We're good. Um, and so nothing should have changed here. We still get our assertion error. But the cool part is that Django extensions adds a run server plus command. So instead of doing python manage.py run server, if you do python manage.py run server plus, oh, right. You need to not only install Django extensions, but you also need to install Worksug. So let me do that. And it'll take a second. It has to talk to PyPy, but it shouldn't take too long. It's fairly small. One meg. Depending on how my internet connection is doing today. And it doesn't seem to be doing too well. Sorry about that. Let me try you again. No? Come on. There we go. Okay. So we have to install works. So that's just two extra libraries that you have to install, but it's not a big deal. And so now you can use python manage.py run server underscore plus. And you'll see now it's using the works of debugger. Right? So now we still got this assert in here. Right? We still got this assert false. But now when I refresh, instead of getting this generic Django error page, I'm going to get this awesome works of debugger page. And the, the I mean, first of all, it just looks better, right? Um, that's nice. You can click this, and you'll get a plain text traceback. You can just click Create Paste, and it'll paste it to uh, um, Poku's pasteboard, so you can share the traceback with people. It's really handy. But the coolest part, right, is you get this traceback. But then you can click this little, this little uh, terminal-looking thing over here. Oh, my mouse does not like to click. And it gives you a Python console right in your freaking browser. It's 
awesome. I can't, I can't stress how crazy awesome this is. Um, so I can just type anything I want. Latest poll list. And it'll just print it out. Or I can say, um, length. Latest poll list, right? Or I can do any arbitrary expression, right? I could say, show me all the poll objects. There we are. Show me the count. It doesn't have to be, you know, a line that I've written in my file. I can just do arbitrary Python code here, which is really awesome for interactive debugging, right? You don't need to worry about, you know, opening PDB and saying, okay, I have a variable named B. Is that shadowed by any PDB commands, you know? Any crap like that, right? You just assert false, and that's basically a breakpoint, right? It drops you into the debugger right here, so you can, and you can, you know, go anywhere along the stack. Um, you can open a console anywhere along the stack, right? Usually, the end, the last one is what you're going to be looking for, but um, yeah, and it also has a nice little dump command, so you can say um, dump latest poll list instead of using dir, and it'll have you, you know, give you a nice, nice little, uh, nice little table of this. Um, yeah, so really those are the ways I debug Django applications. I don't use PDB at all. Um, it doesn't integrate with Vim very well. Maybe if it did, I'd use it more, but, um, yeah, really, just the, the trifecta of debugging that I use are print statements, uh, assert false with the default Django run server, and assert falses with the, uh, works of debugger. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Let me delete this, and we'll see that, uh, oh, the server takes a second to reload. No. Yeah, every once in a while, for some reason, run server plus dies. I'm not entirely sure why that happens, but uh, I just restarted. But yeah, so we fixed our bug, and now we've got a little thing in there. So, all right, guys, I hope this was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please just leave a comment here or on Reddit or find me on Twitter. I'm uh, I'm at Steve Losh on Twitter. And all right, cool. Hope it was useful. Thanks.